Welcome to today's guide on how to make the most out of your Hilton points. To make it more relatable, we'll be using a real-world example. So grab your favorite calculator and let's get started. Imagine you have $750 and zero Hilton points and you're dreaming of a three-night stay at the Strathalan, a double tree in Rochester, New York, where each night is $250. In this scenario, you could use your money to book the room, leaving you with no remaining funds. But hold on there, don't put that calculator away just yet. There's another option, you could exchange your money into Hilton points and use them to book the room. Occasionally, Hilton offers promotions where you can get each point for half a cent. This can be seen as the exchange rate for buying Hilton's currency, points. Back to our example. If you were to exchange your money, you would receive 150,000 points. Let's assume that each night costs 50,000 points. Using this method, you would be able to pay for your stay using points and again end up with no remaining funds. It's as easy as that. But when it comes to evaluating the value of Hilton points, some experts may claim that they are worth 0.6 cents per point. To truly grasp the logic behind this, you might need a PhD. But don't worry, I've got one. So let's dive a little deeper and re-examine our previous example, where we are left with no funds after booking a stay at the Strathalan. This time, let's not forget that we are also receiving points for our stay. When paying with cash, guests receive 10 base points for each dollar spent at the hotel. Taxes excluded. In the case of the Rochester stay, I would end up with around 6,500 base points. Being a Diamond member, let's double that. Because who doesn't love a good math party? Let's party! And if there's a promotion running for double base points, let's add that to the mix. I love math parties. But wait, there's more. As a clever person, you pay with your Aspire card and get 14 eggs on all expenditures taxes included. Now you're looking at 30,000 points more than if booking on points alone. And that, my friend, is a value worth $150, or as I like to call it, a math party in your pocket. But what does all of this mean for you? Well, it means that a fair point price for a night would be around 40,000 points, making it 120,000 points for a three-night stay. In this case, it wouldn't matter if you use your $750 to pay for the room or exchange it for points and pay for the room with points, you would end up with the same amount of points on your balance. And if we do the math, we get a value of 0.625 cents per point, which brings us back to the initial 0.6 cents per point. Now it's important to keep in mind that this value is just an estimate and can be influenced by things like running promotions, tax hides, foreign currency values for international travels and so on. So a rough rule of thumb is that a room worth $250 should be around 40,000 points or less to use points. And if you're feeling extra spendy, you can always refill your stock by buying points for the amount that the room rate would have been. Think of it as a points piggy bank, if you will. In conclusion, when it comes to maximizing the value of your Hilton points, aim to buy them at a rate of 0.5 cents per point and use them at a rate of at least 0.6 cents per point. And, as a bonus tip, don't forget to consider the fifth night free option when booking on points alone, as this can increase the overall value of your redemption. Now that you have a better understanding of the target value for your points, it's time to take your knowledge to the next level. Be sure to tune into our next video to discover the hotels that offer the best redemption rates and how to track them down like a pro.